What is going on, y'all? Travis here, back with Season 7, Episode 20 of Grey's Anatomy. Let's get into it. Now, I just I just want to say I'm really excited about the clinical trial. I've been the reading one in the that New England Journal of Medicine. Compromised. Germs, disease, toxins. Our bodies encounter dangers all the time, just beneath the surface. And Alex Karev knows. Karev knows. Whether you realize it or not, your body is constantly protecting itself. What's this? I'd like to propose a toast. Why is the sperm donor here? Oh. May your lives be overfilled with love, happiness, and joy to Cali and Arizona, the mothers of my child. Oh, for <laughs> God's sake. Cheers. 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 Do you ever go by anything other than Colonel? Colonel? The Colonel? <laughs> we forgot to say Grace. Yeah, we should, we should say Grace mm -hmm. before we eat. The fork down, the <clears throat> Colonel. Mommy, you want to leave? Every time you oh. blink your eye, you wash away thousands of unwanted microbes, breathe in too much unwanted nice. pollen, and you sneeze. Yes. Excuse me. We sat next to a charming young man on the plane today, and he said he was going with his partner to march in a parade for pride. Yeah, those are good. The body knows when it's encountered something that doesn't belong. Oh, a big yawn. The body detects the invader. It releases its white blood cells. No, no, that's all right. Thank you, though. I'm eating. Oh, okay. And it attacks. This is Zola. Adorable and African children. Rough. Shameless single ego struggling. Yeah, he's single-handedly stealing she further enough from under all of us, and we're helping him do it. The genius. Or Amatumia Akili Akibasuri. That's what they say in Swahili. Well, he only has a shot because I've been benched. You're all welcome. My Alzheimer's trial kicks African orphan ass. Keep it down back Does there. It? I'm trying to listen to what appears to be the next chief resident talking. I just want to say thank you to all of you for your participation. It uh, truly means more than I can say. So clap. I'm not giving you a slow clap. I'll give you a slow clap. Okay, I want to personally check the incision sites, any weight fluctuations, patient's glucose level. When was the last time you cleaned these cages, Avery? Cages. You got it, sir. McKenna, we're here to take a look at the Zola today. Uh, sometimes babies with a spina bifida can develop urine malformation. It causes fluid buildup in the brain. Sometimes, if you adjust the patient's head position, that helps relieve the pressure. Let me see this face. We've had her at the orphanage since she was two months old. This is the first time she's stopped crying since I can remember. I think she likes you. <laughs> she can keep that hat funny. She's so cute. Sefu, I will be repairing your brother's heart defect tomorrow. Dr. Sloan, he will construct Kondo a new sternum. He wants to know if he dies. Could we wait to tell the family at home? My sister's birthday is tomorrow, and he doesn't want to ruin it. We are going to take really oh my good God. care of you. And you are not going to ruin your sister's birthday. We have to look at his chest, OK? Wow. Holy crap. Sir, please. You continue to try to get out of bed. I'm going to to restrain you. B-52 cocktail. I'll to calm him down. I need to get back in the race for chief resident. This isn't funny anymore. Can't you talk to her? I, mean, I thought you were in Robinson's service. It just puts me, like, inches away from some other resident while I just stand there and suction. It's torture. You need to apologize. Apologize for what? This guy's face. For having better judgment than Teddy? For saving Callie's life? Oh. The tomorrow. wedding is tomorrow. You asked me how to get back in with Teddy. I'm telling you how. Uh, she's 10 years old. She has multiple enterotomies. She has not healed properly. Well, this complicates things. The fact that she's HIV positive. She's living with AIDS. Hello. Habarikani. Gina Langu. Me April. Ah, don't be scared. Kilakitu. Me Sawa Sawa. I'm just gonna take your blood pressure now, okay? So, oh, no, it's okay. We're, we're here to help. Saidia, understand? Saidia. Help. Help. Dr. Kepner, um, the antibiotics and the LR. Oh, right. Yeah. Perhaps if you spent a little more time just doing your job, a little less time learning the new languages, your attendings wouldn't have to repeat themselves. Oh. Hold, oh, please. Gotta hit that stop button. Dr. Altman, I would like to apologize. I am sorry for going over your head and putting you in a difficult position. I am sorry. I, I apologize. Are you saying this because you mean it? Or because you want back on my service? You already know the answer to that. Does it really matter? Yes, it matters. Of course it matters. There you go. I put together a schedule to uh, help with the next two days. By the hour, military time. Look at the little rosebuds. Okay, mom, <laughs> baby clothes later. I've got 20 minutes before I have to get back to the hospital. Where's the moment of silence? Could not find a place in the ceremony for it. Well, we have to light a candle for Timothy. It's two minutes. Timothy? Oh, our brother. Sweetie, don't push. Okay, so the table is the altar. The lamp is... 
Father Brooks. Your priest? Minister. He practices at a very big church. It's it's old and drafty. It's you'll like it. It's very churchy. Okay, Mrs. Torres, you'll be over oh, here in the front she's row. Not feeling it. Welcome my little girl down the aisle. <laughs> Sorry, surgery ran long, but I made it. Where do you want me? That is not where you will be. Oh, this is your spot. Sorry. Ah. Mark, why don't you stand over here next to me? At least one of my fathers in law doesn't hate me. You're Sophia's father. I love Sophia. I'm gonna at least try to like you. If you call me your father in law again, I'll knock you out. Okay. Arizona <laughs> walks down the aisle first. Yeah. There she goes. All right, and then I go. <laughs> and then I hand the bouquet to Mom. Can I hand you the bouquet? I actually, I um. I need to use the powder room. Why is she being so weird about it? I'd like some bouquet time, if you don't mind. Haven't had enough bouquet time. <laughs> I mean, baby think being on the chief's research project would help in the race for chief president. Only I'm not saving little kids, people with Alzheimer's. I'm cleaning up mouse poop. Avery, how are the mice? Oh, they're fine, chief. They're running on their wheels. I and mean, if I worked at a pet store, I'd be employee of the month by now. But I'm a surgeon, babysitting a bunch of mice. Until you get FDA approval. But you're going to be working on humans any day now. Or grab me another plumber. Are you peeling these things apart anyway? I'm practicing. I'm going to be helping Teddy remove the adhesions without puncturing the heart. That's... Hey, don't eat my adhesions. Gross. I need 20 Gross. good reasons why I shouldn't let Christina back on my service today. I am ready to buckle. I've got a really complicated case, and I could use her skills. 20 reasons right now, please. Oh. I think you should put her back in your service. No, that would be the worst thing that I could do. That won't teach her a thing. Don't you think you're being a little bit harsh? She went over my head to you. Callie survived that procedure, but it could have been disastrous. Christina got lucky. She thinks she's right, and that is not being a good doctor. That is dangerous. Don't tell her that. There's no telling Christina Yang anything. She has to learn it. I'm okay being the bad guy. Do you really think that she can handle something like killing Kelly Torres? Hell no. Zola doesn't have a Chiari malformation, but she does have hydrocephalus. Look at OR for the shot right away. You need to start looking at the next wave of patient charts. Next wave? First wave of the trial is done. Now we're getting ready to treat the next group. Let me know when the OR is booked. Matt. What's going on? You know what you did? What did I do? I saw you with the clinical trial envelope. If you mess with this trial somehow, this could be bad for you. I don't know what you're talking about. Whatever you did, it invalidates the entire project. You could get into real trouble. It's illegal to mess around with a blind trial. I didn't do anything. Dr. Stark, can I talk Alex to you? Alex is right. I, I have some concerns about Asha. She hasn't eaten a bite of food since she arrived. Start her on parenteral nutrition. I will. The fact that she's not eating, not speaking, yeah. just seems really scared. And you know, unless the next piece of information relies on the words, uh, lab results or vitals i don't care you promised that we could work together that that it wouldn't be weird that you would treat me like any other resident i am treating you exactly the way i treat other residents 911 on asha okay what happened her blood pressure dropped out her pulse was threading saidia Okay, four oh units my of God. Paxil, draw a new cbc coag <laughs> kepner get again i need a central line oh. kepner i'm fine i've got this that might not be good. Two more days. Hmm. We can handle two more days. Be gone and our lives will go back to normal. No more brunches. Why are no you both praying. so pretty? No more my dad <laughs> calling himself the Colonel. <laughs> we just need to focus on the big picture, which is you and I are getting married. Cute. We're getting married. <laughs> hey, we couldn't stop the bleeding, so we brushed her here. Oh, what the hell? Wait, I've never seen anything like that. Not in the States, she has intestinal TB. Adhesions everywhere. We should treat it like a normal perk, right? The, the less aggressive we are, the greater chance we can avoid short gut syndrome. Absolutely. We're going to start by, like, getting the bleeding vessel. The trick is to go in very slowly and together, Baby. and you should see some fluid. Got it. Yeah, I wasn't exactly pleased when you decided to bow out of the trial. But the work you're doing with the kids really impressive. And you were right about Meredith being the right person for the old. I was trying all along. I'm impressed. You are remarkably calm. Well, you should see the schedule that my dad put together. I just show up where I belong. It's perfect. Everyone should get married like this. <laughs> Who's that from? Hottie husband or hottie boyfriend? It's from Andrew, who is not my boyfriend. He's just, just my wedding date. Your hottie wedding date? How about your hottie husband? I mean, Andrew will be in town for another week, and then he's off to who knows where, enjoying what he has to offer while he's offering. Appropriate. What do you have to offer? offer? What normal weight reading. Running on the wheel. Patient H, you're looking great. Patient I, great urinary output. I cannot I believe I'm talking to mice like they're... Oh, no. Mache! Oh, no. Okay, so just pretend my hoodie's a gown. Okay. And... Open your eyes. What do you think? <laughs> I had it made to look like yours. I can see that. I have loved this picture since I was a little girl and I just wanted to surprise you. It's, do you like it? Okay, what, Mom? What don't you like? Well, no nothing. It's, it's lovely. 
lovely. That's... What else would you like me to say? Oh, I don't know. Something. I mean, I've been bending over backwards just to make you feel comfortable. I'm getting married in a church for you. Don't you dare imply that there's anything about a wedding to a woman or a baby out of wedlock that's for me. Ah! Oh. Wow. Okay. So what bothers you more, my bastard child or my lesbian fiancé? You're a lawyer, Mom. You're out in the world. You know other gay people. Your secretary's gay. I'm your daughter. Do you know how devastating it is to raise a child and to love a child and know you won't see that child in heaven? Oh, my God. You are not a bride, and I am not the mother of a bride. This, this isn't your wedding. It isn't right. I'm sorry. I can't be here. I just can't. Okay, bye. Damn. Dad didn't, y'all didn't have a talk about this? Sefu. Mom and Dad. Didn't they get you a cot so you could stay with your brother tonight? I can't sleep. Fuck. Back home, I have all these sisters. But Kondo, he's my only brother. And I don't want to lose him. I know you don't. I know. You've apparently stopped answering your pages in order to join the kitchen staff. Went to dry dressing applied in 1810. Vital stable in your Crohn's patient. Exposed to HIV positive blood. I'm a doctor. We get exposed to things all the time. I know proper protocol. In the sticky yellow mess here. Sticky yellow mess is SEMA. It's a maize porridge, which happens to be a staple in most East African countries. I'm not sure why Asha hasn't eaten in two days, but I am sure that she's not used to eating processed American food. When she is ready to eat, she's gonna be hungry and she's used to corn porridge. So while I can't make her talk that she is advanced TB, that she is a 10 year old living with AIDS, I can make my patient something she might eat. Well, unless you have more insults for me, Dr. Stark, I'm a little busy now making porridge. I, I tried to reason with her. She won't listen. Just sitting downstairs in the car. I, I don't know what to say, sweetheart. I, Daddy, you need to go, okay? Go? No, I, I can't. I'm not leaving. If you don't, I will start crying. And then that will make you feel bad. And then I will feel worse. So you have to go. Okay. That's, I mean, he's really trying and like... Is there any milk over there? Alex, is there any more milk? So you're not talking to me now, is that it? You want me to shut up? So I'm just gonna sit here and practice keeping my mouth shut. I didn't change any data. Or switch a syringe so some sweet lady would get the drug and not the placebo. That's what I thought. Nothing I did will change any results. It doesn't change anything. Except the life of the guy who was supposed to get the drug and now won't. The truth will come out. And when the FDA investigates, they'll invalidate Seattle Grace as a research institution. This is bigger than you. It messes with me. It messes with everyone. I mean, I'm a lot of things, but I'm not a liar. I never thought you were either. Ooh. So what are you saying you're going to tell? Morning. I'm late for work. I don't know what the fuck she was thinking. I really don't. I mean, I get, ugh, oh. I get it, but... She's smarter than oh, that. Oh, good. Can I borrow something? I've got something old, new, blue. I just need something borrowed. I just got a call from Father Brooks. His wife got into an accident. Oh. She's okay. But uh, they're in the ER now. He's not going to make it to the wedding. You're kidding. Please tell me you're kidding. Do you know how hard it was to find a minister willing to marry us? Well, he left me some numbers. We can call for a replacement. <sighs> no, no, no. Don't get anyone. Just <sighs> forget it. I'm not getting married. Last J here took a turn for the worst last night. I did Damn an x-ray. Didn't show anything, so I did a CT. You did an x-ray and a CT on a mouse? I can't make it out. I couldn't either, which is why I did an MRI. Avery, you have $8,000 worth of scans right here for a rodent. But if you just look at the MRI, just look. What do you see? See a little hernia. The problem isn't the way the device functions. It's where the device functions. We just need to put it closer to the surface, just underneath the skin. Let's get started. Hi, are you Paige? Zola. This is Meredith. Meredith. This is Zola. Yeah, can you hold her for a minute? Sure. There. Okay. Zola, can you smile for me? Yeah. See her facial movements are intact? See that? Watch how she's tracking me. Over here. Neuro exam is good. I need to ask you something, okay? Could okay. you excuse us for a minute? Let's stop. I need you to be completely honest with me, okay? If Alex said something to you, let's adopt this baby. What? Are you serious? Yeah. You know, I was holding her yesterday, and she was crying, and then she stopped. I looked down at Zola. I don't know what it was. I just, I just couldn't imagine her being with any other parent, or any other family. We've been trying so hard to start a family. Oh my God! One. Let's adopt her. I'm serious. Let's adopt her. <laughs> you realize your door is unlocked. I could be anyone. I could be a burglar coming to burgle you. <laughs> Where's the baby? 
I could be a baby napper trying to baby nap you. I know why they sent you, and it doesn't matter what you say. The wedding's still off. Damn it. He's the closer. <gasps> My mom's right. It's a joke. It's not a wedding. It's not happening. Oh, okay. Allie. I can't have a priest. I no longer have a minister. I'm not being given away by my dad. The wedding isn't legal. What's the point? It's not even in a church. It's nothing. It's just, it's a couple of girls playing dress up. It's not real. It's not real. First of all, you do not need the law to make your wedding real. And, and the church is, the church can be anywhere you want it to be. On a mountain, you right here. Anywhere. Where do you think God is? <laughs> He's in you. He's in me. Just right here. Your church just hasn't caught up to God yet. Your mother, she hasn't caught up to God yet, and she may not ever catch up, but it's okay. I love if Bailey. you are willing to stand up in front of your friends and family and God and commit yourself to another human being, for better or worse, in sickness and health, honey, that is a marriage, it is real. And that's all that matters. Girl, I got legally married to a man in a church. Look how well that turned out. <laughs> I love her. Y'all better get married. You ready for me yet? Time to repair the VSD through the diverticulum. Uh-huh. There's a small defect gray. Pull up on your pickup so I can get in there. Are you going to use an 11 blade to make the incision? No, she's going in blind. 5-0 suture. All right, I'm sewing in the graft. Gray, would you like to tie off when I finish? Yeah, yes. Good job, Bailey. We addressed all the strictures and adhesions without sacrificing much of the intestines. So, Dr. Hunt, I understand you've been put in charge of determining the next chief resident. In that case, I'd like to talk to you about April Kepner. I think if you check my file, you'll see that I rarely give formal feedback about my residents. When I do, it is almost exclusively negative. That said, I'd very much like to recommend April Kepner oh. for the chief resident position. She sees the patient as a whole, not just as a set of symptoms. I tell you, that kind of caring, that can't be taught. I think this hospital would be lucky to have her as the next chief resident. Well, thank you, Dr. Sargent. Yes. Very good to hear. Are you sure you're still breathing? I don't know. I I mean, there's I more than what we see. I couldn't have done this without see. you today, Avery. But I don't know really if I would really appreciate your Kepner. dedication to these mice. He's whisker twins. Scared me. Oh, OK. <gasps> we did it! He's back! I'll say it's back, baby. <laughs> Uh, yeah, excellent work. Keep this up. You may be getting your own slow clap. Yes. Robbins, babysitter's here. Sophia's asleep. I look great, by the way. Yes, you do. Let's go. Yes, you do. Robbins, you okay? When I came out to my brother, he asked me if that meant that I was going to marry a chick. And when I said yes, he got this big smile. And he said, I'm going to dance so hard at your wedding. <laughs> my dreams are coming true. Dreams I didn't even know that I had. But my brother's not here. He's missing it. Then I know that I'm late. I know it. I know it. But why do you think that my dad schedules every minute of every day? I mean, if every minute is accounted for, then there's no time to slow down. It's just, I need a minute to miss my brother. Look at this Mark's list. just a little, love him. little teddy bear. Statements, I love him. Study. And this is all just to see if the USCIS thinks that we're suitable. If you don't want to do this. No, I do. She could be our little girl. She will be. Look. Don't get overwhelmed. We're gonna take this list one step at a time. No, half the time, people, okay. you hear all these stories all the time about when they, people are trying, they're today. trying, Look, they're right trying, here. they're trying. Then they adopt a baby and then they get pregnant right after. I wonder. I told you, I don't want to do that. I wonder. What's for the baby? I wonder. Okay, you ready? I am. Okay then, let's get married. Okay. Y'all actually gonna get married today, too. It's my own damn fault. I minded my own business. The wedding would be canceled and I'd be home oh, looking at TV by now. You're doing great. Come on. <sighs> okay, right here. All right. Okay. You can let go of my hand now. All right. She's marrying them? I'm a sucker. I'm a sucker for weddings. Don't trip, don't trip. You're not gonna trip. Oh my God, look at her. Look at the sleeves. Yes. My life. Okay. <laughs> um, gives this bride to this bride. That'd be me. Applicants Gray and Shepard. That'd be us. Need to see some ID. 
Okay, this seems to be in order. I'll jump right in. Uh, we are here today to participate in a marital union. To celebrate uh, love and happiness and loyalty and a little bit of magic. It's crazy that it's like just a formality for Meredith and Derek to make it legal. This guy doesn't even care. To bring together two this is exceptional like emotional and beautiful and human beings. Is your intention to enter into marriage? They're not even allowed to get married me at I, this point. Uh, Derek. Hi, Derek Shepard. I take you, Calliope Torres, to be my wife. For better or for worse, in good times and bad, I choose you to be the one God, she's gorgeous. Spend my life. We didn't have time to get rings. Okay, we'll skip that part. <laughs> Okay, you sign there, and you sign there. By these acts, and according to the laws of the state of Washington. Okay, I hereby pronounce you wife and wife. Congratulations. Well, thank you. I never understood exactly. why anybody cares who the fuck someone else marries anyways, or has sex with, or wants to lay with. The fuck does it matter to anybody? It's so annoying. Worry about your own damn life. Shit. She's so damn extra. So what happened, Teddy? Talk to her? Somebody they just called to say she got stuck delivering a baby. The baby got stuck halfway out. I was wrong to doubt the mice. Karev, watch your back. Mouse J just made me a contender. Thank you, Mouse J. Mouse J. You're not the only contenders. Sources tell me that Kepner could be a dark oh, horse. <laughs> <laughs> no offense, Dr. Hunt. I have you scheduled for a Swenson procedure on a two-year-old orphan tomorrow morning. I'm just looking out for the kids that I brought here from Africa. Any idea when they're cutting a cake? I have no idea, sir. Funny how things work out. Karev stepped up, Jackson starting to shine, Kepner, Gray. Well, I always assumed that you would be the front runner for Chief Resident Yang. Ooh. Just goes to show, can't count anyone out. I'm gonna check on that cake. He said, you got to step it up. You want a real apology? Can't this wait to work tomorrow because my date's waiting for me. I'm sorry. I'm such an exceptional surgeon that it threatens you. I'm sorry. My surgical repair saved Callie's life and yours didn't. I had to stand on the sidelines of a surgery. I should have been performing like I have been standing on the sidelines the past three months, basically ruining my chances for chief resident. You want sincerity? I could not be more sincere. And yet, you still don't get it. Boo. Should have brought the husband. My glass is empty. Again. I have a proposition for you. I like the sound of that. I've been offered a position at Landstuhl Medical Center. In Germany? Wow, that's, uh, that's an amazing facility. The position they offer me is permanent, so I accept it on one condition, that they find an opening for my incredibly talented cardiothoracic surgeon girlfriend. No! Andrew. I live a nomadic life, and it's never bothered me till now. I want to settle down. I want to start a life with someone. And I'm hoping that that someone is you. Just when we think we've figured things out, the universe throws us a curveball. She's about to leave. All right, it's now time to clear the dance floor and make way for the father-daughter dance, folks. Oh, crap. I forgot to take that off the schedule. I'm, I meant to. I'm sorry. No, I, no, no, I can... no, no, no. Of course you should get to dance with your dad. It's OK. I'll just set this one up. Go ahead. No, you won't. I'm a father. I can dance. Let's dance. Oh. So we have to improvise. <laughs> I love him. We really need to leave if we're going to even make an appearance. Oh, man. You said that 20 minutes ago. Listen to her. Listen to her. Look at her. I can't. They're so cute. Look how happy he is. Come on, look at her. Look at her. Stop. Look at her. 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 Look with my daughter. Look at that. Look at those two. And then look at these two. The little baby. The universe is funny that way. Sometimes it just has a way of making sure we wind up exactly where we belong. I can't. Vera did the show. Look how they adopted the little baby. Little cute baby. I love it. I love it. This episode was so good. The wedding. Callie in Arizona looked gorgeous. I loved it. Callie's mom's a poop face, but whatever. Like, pop off. She'll be fine, I guess. Like, whatever. Um, I'm glad the dad showed up. I love all these characters, man. It's so good. Who's going to be chief resident? I don't know. 
and also is um why do i always forget her name the cardio thoracic surgeon i always forget it i don't know why teddy teddy's her first name but altman altman dr altman dr altman dr i don't know why like when i'm speaking it uh, like i lose it probably because there's 450 fucking doctors on this show but is she gonna leave I kind of like her. I don't want her to leave. But then that paves the way that like leaves a opening for Christina to pop up in there. Possibly. Time's coming, right? For like how much longer till till they become attendings. Oh my God. I love this show. Let me know what y'all thought about this one. I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.